Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I have an update for you on Josh Duggar's new prison release date. Um, it's been changed, but honestly not by much. Like I know he was in the shoe for, I don't even know how long. What was it, like a mo couple months maybe, something like that? Um, he didn't get much added on because I think his original release date was in August and now it's October. That's not very long if you ask me, but anyways... So I'm just going to read this quick to you. It says Josh Tucker prison release date changed again. Disgrace star refuses to pay restitution. <laughs> Uh, we have an update on Josh Duggar. First, according to official records from the Federal Correction Institute, Seagoville in Texas, where the proven pedo now resides, Duggar is scheduled to be released from jail on October 10th, 2032. I like that. You're in there for a while, buddy. As you may recall, he was originally set to be freed on August 12th of that same year. Yeah, so he's only got what? all of September, like half of August, all of September, and a few, in 10 days in October. That's not very long. Uh, the aforementioned extension and subsequent adenum come after Duggar was moved to the facility special housing unit, which is the SHU, for allegedly possessing this device while continuing to serve his 12 and a half year sentence. The conditions of FCI, Seagoville's solitary confinement area, are notoriously bad per multiple reports. Duggar is reportedly back in general population following a miserable time all by himself. I mean, am I supposed to feel sorry for this prick? Because I don't. I think he should be locked down there and never allowed to be out again. People like him don't change. They just don't. But to say a miserable time all by himself? Good! The father of seven, of course, was found guilty on one count of receiving CP and one count of possessing CP in December 2021. This pissed me off. A judge later dropped the latter charge at the TLC's personalities made 2022 sentencing. I think you should have been stuck with that. That they put Josh Tucker won't be taking any selfies for a very, very long time. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's probably, this is, I don't know. I had to go get an MRI today and uh, they had to give me this medicine and it's made me awfully tired and giddy. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still fucking stuck. <laughs> oh my God. So apparently elsewhere, meanwhile, Duggar owes 50100 in restitution in connection to his 2021 conviction, a sum he was obligated to pay when he was sentenced last year. According to the Sun, this amount remains unpaid. Wow. As no release of lien has been filed with the Washington County Clerk's Office in Arkansas, despite a judge having decreed that it must be paid immediately. So we're talking a year ago. Right? Yeah, it was a year ago. And he still hasn't paid it? How does he get away with that? And it says the lien reads as follows. If payment becomes past due, oh, there, just answer my question. If payment becomes past due, penalties totaling up to 25% with the principal amount past due may arise. Well, it should arise. Who the hell does he think he is? And then this crap. Josh Dogger and his legal team have filed an appeal requesting a new trial. The odds, of course, are against them. Yeah, there's no way in hell he's going to win that. We can't say for certain whether Josh is simply refusing to pay this money or if he literally cannot do so. For me, I would say he's refusing to do so because he seems to think he's, you know what I mean? Like who his father is, Jim Bob, and who he is. I think he thinks he's untouchable and better than everybody else is what I think. And then the other part of his brain, that's the sick son of a bitch that he is, seriously thinks that he's untouchable and will win this court case. He is very narcissistic and I think he's very... um into himself he's a disgusting fuck yeah so that they said duggar formerly owned a used car lot wholesale motor cars which is where he downloaded explicit images and videos on his hp computer disgusting this business was shut down after police raided the used car lot in november 2019 as far as we know duggar hasn't held a job since and it seems very plausible that he's broke <laughs> I just think all this looks good on him, the fucker. As for where things stand between Josh and his wife, Anna, sources have said in the past that the latter is constantly praying about her the days, weeks, months, years ahead and what to do. 
Anna is still very much questioning their future, an insider previously told in Touch Weekly. She took her wedding vows seriously, and she wants to stand by her man and all that. But the reality of her situation is very difficult. Divorce is not something she wants, but she'd be lying if she said she wasn't question she hasn't questioned her future with Josh. Um, I would imagine, like, I, I look. If I was in her shoes, what do you do? You've got seven children. Your husband is locked up until what? What was it? Uh, Twenty thirty two. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I think now she's regard like relying on the Duggars, and if that's her only go to, she's fucked. She can't go out on her own. She has no. I sorry, I don't know what she does for money, besides the show. I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe she should start up a YouTube channel or something. I don't know, get her story out there, something, anything to get her some money so she can just get away from them. Because it's got to be hard for her too, though, because it, like they said, she takes her marriage vows very seriously. When she's married, she's married. That's it. Till death do us part. You know what I'm saying? But this situation is not good. Um, he's gone for a very long time. Very long time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel bad for her and the children. Like, I really don't. I would think I would be like, yeah, F you. I'm done. I'm gone. See ya. I hope you rot in jail type of thing. But she, she's different. Just the way she was brought up and the, her family and the Duggars. And you know what I mean? Like, I think she's she's stuck. She's probably scared. Like, what would you do? I, I don't think she has a choice but to stay with him and stay in her surroundings. And unless she can get some sort of an income that can help pay for her and her family. You know, seven children, that's that's a lot of friggin' money. I have one, and I'm telling you, my grocery bill, holy shit, it is humongous. Especially with him growing, he eats a lot. I only have one kid. I couldn't imagine seven. Anyways, I just wanted to read that little update, so the bastard ain't getting out. He only got a month, what, a month and a half added? Whoopee. But at least he was in the shoe, or he wasn't having a good time. <laughs> I kind of like the way they word things. Anyways, um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments section. Oh, Katie apparently is still on a rampage. Oh my god. So I was I got a um I got a notification from Reddit. There's like seven, eight, nine posts now. Oh, I can't keep up, man. I can't. So I might do another video today or just wait until tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm really tired. Uh, but anyways, um, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a good night. Bye.